Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. IT just happened. Unruly Dem commits sick act against Trump, gives USA the middle finger. There's dumb, then there's downright idiotic. Texas Representative Al Green would fit into the latter category. Yes, he's a Democrat, as if you couldn't put two and two together. Why is Green so nutty? He just introduced articles of legislation to impeach President Trump. Is this guy for real? The left cannot comprehend that Trump won because of Barack Obama's failed foreign and domestic policies, not to mention his willingness to ignite racial tension. Instead, they choose to ignore her while pleading ignorance. From Fox News Liberal Democratic Rep. Al Green on Wednesday followed through on threats to file articles of impeachment against President Trump, introducing the resolution in the House while delivering an anti-Trump tirade on the floor. The Texas congressman's maneuver was short-lived. While Green could have forced a vote as early as Wednesday, he opted not to take further action and the articles effectively expired. However, Green could reintroduce the measure at any time and a spokesman for the lawmaker told Fox News he may do so. Green said, Today, I rise to use the constitutionally prescribed political process of impeachment to speak truth to the most powerful man on earth, the President of the United States of America. Green, while wasting his breath, says Trump is betraying his trust as president because he's a racist. Could that be any farther from the truth? Nope. Not a chance. Green added, the public has been led to believe that a president must commit a crime to be impeached, which is not true. If any president persisted with the lie that Hitler was right, he would be, and should be, impeached not for a crime, but for betraying his trust as president. Sheesh. Liberals like Al Green are everything that's wrong with America and there's no two ways around it. Are you fed up? Then show IT by commenting and sharing. Maybe then DC will get the message. Jeff Sessions drops hammer. Look which four American cities he's targeting for helping illegals. The Department of Justice just gave a final warning to four sanctuary cities in one county on Thursday after they failed to comply with federal immigration laws. Cook County, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. New Orleans, Louisiana. New York, New York, and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. See what the Justice Department had the following to say about the issue. The Justice Department today responded to seven jurisdictions following a preliminary assessment of the jurisdiction's compliance with 8 U.S.C. 1373. These jurisdictions were identified in a May 2016 report by the Department of Justice's Inspector General as having laws that potentially violate 8 U.S.C. 1373. The following jurisdictions have preliminarily been found to have laws, policies, or practices that may violate 8 U.S.C. 1373. The cities have until October 27 to get into compliance. Here is what Attorney General Jeff Sessions had to say about the sanctuary cities. These sanctuary cities need to come together and help our citizens. Spread this everywhere if you are hoping that Jeff Sessions drops the hammer on them. Rex Tyson just stood up and ruined the United Nations today with one brilliant move. The United Nations was a great idea in concept. A coming together of nations to work together and prevent wars. Now, it's become a place for Israel hating America bashers to help themselves at our expense. No more. A lot of people have been wondering what Rex Tyson was good for as Secretary of State. Well, Today he showed us his worth by doing the one thing the UN has been begging America not to. Dot he left UNESCO. Tyson made the decision to leave United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, after he got sick and tired of all their anti-Semitic Israel bashing. 
UNESCO has made their stance on Jews very clear by constantly denying Jews, not Muslims, connection to holy sites, referring to Israel as the occupying power and letting Palestine become a permanent member in 2011. Of course, the folks at UNESCO are desperate to gloss over the issue, saying it's a loss for the world in our ability to conquer extremism. Oh, really? Why not start by looking at the member states of your own group? Look, the United States has a lot of allies in the world but not many true friends. Israel is one of those actual friends of our nation and we Americans always keep our friends' backs. Helpterson and Trump stand up to the Jew haters at the United Nations. IT's finished Trump just made a huge change to Obamacare that will save America billions. The Congress may have utterly failed to do anything about the disaster of Obamacare, but that does not mean President Trump was gonna sit back and do nothing. Today the President signed a brand new executive order that makes a massive change to U.S. health care we desperately needed. He will open up health insurance companies to sell across state lines. The result of this will in the government controlled oligopolies and establish a real marketplace with competitive pricing and plans. According to the president, the new rules will also mean you did not have a three month window in which to purchase affordable health care plans before the market shuts and the rates change. He promised the results will be a great, cheap, widely available health care plan for Americans to access. It also will establish health care reimbursement accounts for businesses to put money into their employees so that they can select their own, cheap plans and business can still write off the difference. It's not perfect, but it's certainly a start and a lot more than Congress has been able to deliver even with their majority. Now the left is trying to run cover saying it will take months for Americans to start saving money. That's right, saving money. This is amazing news, plain and simple. It needs to get out so let's make it happen. Thank you, Mr. President. John Kelly just stepped to podium and made every reporter shiver with what he said next. Chief of Staff John Kelly was at the White House press podium today. He said that the moment was astounding and said that he is very tired of the amount of fake news put out by the media. It's almost a joke, now. According to Fox News, John Kelly's appearance was a surprise at the press briefing. The media is not going to like what he said in the video below. I'm not quitting today. I don't think I'm being fired today. I am not so frustrated in this job that I am thinking of leaving, Kelly told reporters, adding he is not frustrated. I will tell you this is the hardest job I've ever had. Vanity Affair recently reported that he was struggling in the White House. They then said that Kelly wanted to quit. NBC ran a story on Wednesday saying that Trump wanted a huge increase in the U.S. nuclear arsenal. Kelly said that the story was rubbish. Kelly let it trip on the media. Share this if you are so, 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 so so tired of all their lies. Let's make this go so viral that they can't ignore it. Thank you. Whoops! FBI finds new documents about Clinton Lynch tarmac meeting, now Loretta is screwed. Former Attorney General Loretta Lynch met with former President Bill Clinton on a Phoenix tarmac weeks before the presidential election last year. You're well aware of the story by now. More than likely what happened is Lynch agreed to not prosecute Hillary over her email server mishandlings in exchange for staying on as AG through Clinton's first term. Now, that story will more than likely never be proven, but who are we kidding? Just a week after the Loretta, Bill meeting. Hillary was cleared of any wrongdoing. So, there you go. Now, Lynch is set to be grilled on Capitol Hill regarding her involvement in influencing the 2016 race, per Washington Times. 
The Senate Judiciary Committee has opened a probe into former Attorney General Loretta E. Lynch's efforts to shape the FBI's investigation into 2016 Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, the committee's chairman announced Friday. In a letter to Ms. Lynch, the committee asks her to detail the depths of her involvement in the FBI's investigation, including whether she ever assured Clinton confidants that the probe wouldn't push too deeply into the matter. Fired FBI Director James B. Comey has said publicly that Ms. Lynch tried to shape the way he talked about the investigation into Mrs. Clinton's emails, and he also hinted at other behavior which I cannot talk about yet that made him worried about Ms. Lynch's ability to make impartial decisions. More from Daily Caller, about the new findings. Though the FBI told Judicial Watch that it did not have records related to the meeting, the Justice Department revealed in response to a separate lawsuit filed by the watchdog that some of its officials had been in contact with FBI officials about the Clinton-Lynch encounter. In August, the Justice Department released emails showing some of its officials exchanging emails with the FBI regarding the meeting. And in a July 1, 2016, email, Justice Department official Carolyn Pokemi told colleagues that FBI is asking for guidance on the controversy. What do you make of this? Do you think we'll learn anything about Lynch's influence, or will she skate? Let us know what you are thinking in the comments section. Unprecedented what this dem just hit Trump with in articles of impeachment will fire him up. Unprecedented dot in its stupidity. Al Green is at it again. He's tried it before, it got nowhere. So now he's trying it again. On Wednesday, he introduced articles of impeachment against Trump. Interestingly, the GOP presiding officer moved to begin the process to consider the resolution less than an hour later. But Green wasn't there. He watched it, so his impeachment efforts against Trump won't get an imminent vote. It's all a bunch of empty drama, y'all. In fact, his articles said this, that Trump is fueling an alt-right hate machine that's causing immediate injury to American society. Ridiculous. We all know it's the media that is twisting Trump's words to make it appear that Trump is racist, etc. when nothing could be farther from the facts and actual words he has spoken. Green also said this in his articles, Trump has undermined the integrity of his office and brought disrepute on the presidency. Not even his fellow Dems agree that there is anything to impeach Trump over. For example, Rep. Jerry Nadler, DNY, recently said I don't want to vote on impeachment. I think it's too early. We don't have the evidence, we don't have the case. If you are tired of this crap, please share this, to show how ridiculous this all is. Also, comment cut the crap, Dems. H. T. The Hill